Welcome to our course, Loss Function. And in this part of our course, we are going to talk about the mean bias error. So this is still a part of our regression loss function. As we have already said that in identifying what kind of function we're going to use, we have to differentiate between classification and regression algorithm because each of them has its own loss functions to use. So what is a loss function? It actually evaluates how a certain algorithm models the data. So our main target, why we use a certain model is that in as much as possible, we would like to model the real world scenario. So with the use of a certain model, we would want to identify whether or not our model captures the real, or if not really the real world, at least it's closer to the real world. We have here, the deviation is high, is equal to loss function is large. Of course, that's very basic. So when it's very low, the deviation is very low, then the loss function is also very low. And what does that mean? The lower the deviation means that the closer it is to reality. So in some cases, if not in most cases, we would like to reduce the error in prediction. The error in prediction is the difference between the real value and the predicted value. Our target here is that we would like to reduce the error. And how to do that? We do that by using optimization function. So we will be having this one in the future. This is our formula in getting or calculating the MBE or mean bias error. So this kind of function, loss function, is actually very less common than other kinds of loss functions. So it is actually very similar to MSC. Actually, it's the same. And the difference is that we don't take absolute values. And another thing is we don't get the square values of the difference between the YI or the predicted value and the true value. So as you could see, we have both the positive and the negative values that are used and without even squaring them. The drawback to that is we have to be very much cautious because sometimes that would lead to zero, especially when the values are actually more or less the same. With that, it cancels each other or the positive and the negative values cancel each other. And the good thing about MBE is that um, it can help us determine whether or not the model has positive bias or negative bias. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.